guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Unique Queen and today guys on this beautiful, wonderful, blessed Wednesday, I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, blessed day. If not, I'm sending good energy and vibes your way. Guys, I just wanted to make this video to tell you, uh, every, every one of you out there that may be going through something, I know we all go through trials and tribulations, guys, and I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I just want you all to know out there that you are loved. I know that these are trying times. I want you to know that your past does not determine your future. I am a living, walking testimony and witness to that. Uh, guys, I have been through so many things in my life, but I just, I, I never gave up. You know, I've always had the will to continue to fight. You know, it's not always been easy. I have not, you know, always been where I'm at mentally or uh even physically, you know, driven and having the the willpower to fight the way I have, you know, here in recent times. Um, I have had my dark days where I've had to have been, uh, you know, in, in just really heavy prayer. You know what I mean? I am a firm believer that prayer fixes everything. And I know the elders in my family would always tell me, pray about everything and worry about nothing. If you're going to worry, don't waste your time praying. Um, or vice versa. So I choose to pray, guys. So I wanted to just make this video to send light and love, positive vibes, and good energy uh, to all of you out there. We are the human family. No matter what level you are in in life, um, if you're down, if you're depressed, or whatever the situation may be, just know that you're always a winner, you know, until you choose to give up. You know, if you don't give up and you continue to fight, you're, you're going to reach whatever goals and uh, live out whatever dreams that you may have. And if you can see it in your mind and just see it before you bring it into manifestation, guys, it can be done. And uh, I got some wonderful news today. I'm not going to share it with you guys just yet. I look forward to sharing it with you. But um, I am so happy, guys. I have worked so hard in several areas of my life. Um, it was a time in my life uh, just a couple of months ago where I just, I didn't want to get out of bed. You know, the pandemic hit and things were just really rough. And I know I'm not the only one. I know there's someone out there that can relate. You know what I mean? And um, it was just really tough. And I worked really hard to get to where I'm at, you know, in school and in other areas in my life, you know, for those of you that are not new to my channel, you know that I am a diabetic. For those of you who are, I am a diabetic. So diabetes is nothing to play with. So here lately, I have been working out. I have been taking my physical and my mental health, you know, into my own hands and uh, taking responsi uh, responsibility for it, opposed to just making excuses, you know, um, having the victim mentality and just knowing that, Life is what we make it. You know, we all go through things. We all have a past. But the determining factor is how you choose to deal with whatever you're facing and letting the past go. Guys, from experience, you know, like I said, I am a psychology major. However, I have not obtained my degree in psychology yet. But I do have a lot of life experiences. So... With that being said, guys, I can tell you from experience, you know, you have to let the past go in order to, you know, uh, receive whatever is in store for you in the future. You can't get to where you're going if you're always turning around looking behind you. So remember that, guys. That's just, you know, food for thought. You know what I mean? Let the past go. I know that some things are harder to let go than others. And uh, I know that personally, I've been through a lot of trauma in my life. However, what doesn't kill us make us stronger. And I am a living testimony to that. You know, my life is not perfect. I am not perfect. You know, of course, you all know that I will never be, you know, we're not perfect as human beings. But, you know, as long as we bend and not break, I am a firm believer that things will always get better as long as we keep a positive mindset and think about what we're thinking about. It took me many of years to learn that. Me being the age that I am, you know, um, I was so easy to just get down and just feel sorry for myself. You know what I mean? And I held a lot of grudges for a long time, but, you know, I had to learn and come to the place that 
a realization to know that that person that I was holding a grudge at was having power over me. And when I forgave that person, it really wasn't for them. It was for me because I wasted and missed out on so much of my life just holding grudges and resentment for past things that I've been through with different uh, people in my life. So, you know, my advice to you all, if you're dealing with someone that's toxic, cut that person off from the root. Um, it doesn't matter who they are, guys. Energy is everything. Protect your energy with your life. You know what I mean? Um, it's very important for us to take care of our mental health, especially in these trying times. Uh, always remember that it's your choice who you choose to give your time to and who you choose to spend your time with. You know, time is something in this life that we cannot get back. You know what I mean? So whatever you choose to do with it, it's totally up to you. It's uh, going to be the determining factor of how your life turns out. If you choose to do drugs and lay around and drink and just fester all day, then nine times out of 10, you're not going to really get too much done in this life as far as leaving a legacy and getting things done for the next generation or even being able to be independent for yourself. Um, I had to learn that the hard way. So, you know, it's in the Bible. If we don't work, we don't eat, you know, and it took me a long time to figure out what my passion was. And it wasn't until, you know, months ago where I made my first YouTube video and it's just a fire lit inside of me. You know, I finally found something that I love doing, that I'm passionate about, and that's sharing my experiences with you guys and helping someone in need that's probably in a position that I used to be in. And me using my experience and my knowledge, you know, to help others is just priceless to me. You know what I mean? Because I'm not a judgmental person. I'm not perfect, as all you know. But um, I am a loving, caring person. I'm very compassionate. You know, a lot of people can say a lot of things about me. But what they can't say is that, you know, I'm a mean, you know, evil, non-compassionate type of person. I'm a people's person. I am the type of person that would give you the shirt off of my back. So, um, and I had to learn that too because I, you know, have come to, to know that over the years, you know, that has been one of my downfalls. I am a person that loves hard, and when I love, you know, I, I give and I give until there's nothing left, and nine times out of ten, the person that I'm doing that to doesn't reciprocate. So, um, you know, my advice would be to you all is to love yourself. Self-love is the best love. Self-care is always, you know, should be your number one factor, just like you take care of your husband, your wife, and, you know, your children, or even your friends, guys. Show yourself that same love. So today this video was really just all about, you know, positivity, good vibes, loving yourself, self-love, um, just being who you would like to be in life and knowing your place in this world. You know, growing up, my grandmother would always tell me, Natisha, no matter where you are, you know, be a woman and know the ground that you walk on. So, you know, I've always taken that and carry that in my heart and, um, you know, I can never thank my grandmother enough for all of the wisdom that she has installed in me over the years and the knowledge that I have. And, you know, I just feel like it's my duty to pass that on to the younger generations, which are, you know, maybe some younger people that may be watching this video, you know, definitely my children and my grandchildren. And, um, you know, like I said, we are the human family and, um, I just want you guys to know that I love you all. I wanted to make this video just to send some positivity and love and light to someone that may be going through something today and, you know, you're feeling like giving up. I want you to know that you are love. I want you to look in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful and you're perfect just the way God created you. And um, guys, I'm here for you. Uh, we are the Determination Nation, meaning we don't give up. Things get hard, but we don't give up. We've been, but we don't break. You know what I mean? Uh, we're here and we're not going anywhere. So, yes, guys, this is a beautiful, wonderful, blessed day. And uh, I want you all to know that I love you. Get up, get out, take a walk. Uh, do whatever you can to be the best version of yourself. You know, invest into yourself instead of investing in everyone else. You know, speak positive over yourself. Speak life into yourself instead of death. Guys, uh, we are going to make it through this. We are the human family. 
after every storm, the sun always shines again. So I just wanted to make this video to let all of you out there know that I love you. We are the human family. Guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love interacting with you. Let me know what you did today to just show yourself some love. You know what I mean? Or what did you do today to better your situation in life? You know, did you sign up for classes? Did you try to learn a, another language? You know, uh, what did you do for your self-care? Did you go and you work out? You know, uh, did you eat a little less, you know, lessen your portions? Did you um, take your multivitamins? Did you walk instead of driving? Let me know, guys, what you do to love and to care for yourself. Um, guys, with all that being said, I enjoy spending this time with you. Again, I'm sending love and light to all of you out there. We are the human family. Guys, I am Unique Queen. Like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And let me know, guys, what you think about my content, what I can do better. And definitely let me know what you do to love yourselves. And um, if you want to interact with me or if you want to collaborate or maybe you just need some advice, guys, email me at youqueen358 at gmail.com and I would definitely respond to you in 24 hours, if not um, immediately. So, guys, I am Unique Queen. We are the Determination Nation, guys. I love you all so much. Love yourselves more. And until next time, guys, please keep fighting. <laughs> hey. Hey.